As Mr. Yap starts pumping air into the water ball, more and more air molecules are being introduced inside the bottle. These air molecules then hit against the bottle, creating pressure. The more air molecules inside the bottle, the higher the pressure. As the pressure increases, so does the stored potential energy inside the water bottle. When Mr. Yap released the catch of the bottle, all of this stored potential energy is released, forcing water out of the bottle. Whoosh! This causes the rocket bottle to lift off. Newton's third law of motion states that for every action, there will be an equal and opposite reaction. When the water is released, it generates an action which exerts a force downward to the ground. An equal reaction force is then generated, which thrusts the water bottle upwards in the opposite direction from the force generated by the air and water. It is important to note that the amount of water, as well as air pressure inside the bottle, are factors that will determine how high your rocket will go.